Hi, I'm Glenn, City of Island Fishing Field Team, COAF Field Team, and this round, it's Tuesday, March 17th, St. Paddy's Day, and while things are kind of mixed up because of the uh, coronavirus, and, um, well, you're having to make do, especially since uh, we just had to make emergency run to Walmart for uh, some, I think it's cheese balls from our significant other, but unfortunately they were out, but luckily we were able to make do and got some goldfish, extra cheddar cheese goldfish. But let's talk fishing. Anyways, um, the other day we picked up some of these M rods. Grab them real quick here. All right, and since uh, we're shifting over to warm water fishing and we're trying to think of other things that we can do because we do have a lot of rods around here. Um, we started out with a fly rod and a kayak fishing M rod. And the fly rod came with this section here. And we liked it, it worked well. Um, but uh, we kind of put that away and then the kayak fishing rod came with this dealie here <coughs> and it worked well too especially for some of the catfish that we were catching uh, but now we're thinking about doing some single fishing because we cleaned up the room kind of did some organization and stuff and went through all our junk in our closet as well as around here and we fixed up a few things we got everything organized and oh by the way we found out we had a lot of um Cinco fishing stuff. So we're putting a Cinco fishing playlist together from some things that we've picked up uh, in the past and uh, some things that have come in recent since we haven't fished in a while uh, with Cinco worms. We've maybe been fly fishing, but we wanted to try this one out because it's got a longer rod now. So it's basically a, oh, maybe a, oh, just under three feet rod, but it looks like you can handle some pretty good fish. We've got the uh, worm hook here ready to go we just need some warmer weather and we'll be able to go out there and maybe try some doing try try catching some bass in a local pond with the m rod modified from the kayak fishing kayak king uh model uh that used our fly rod section here and replaced what it really came with with this section here so stay tuned we'll probably get some video out here in the next few once we get through some of this recent rains and whatnot that are coming to hit us here soon um, but do, uh, check it out. We'll get some video out there. And oh, by the way, we do have a lot of, um, stuff that we picked up, that we picked up over there at <coughs> the various things that we had in our closet, as well as things that came in through this, um, what do you call it? Mystery Tackle Box. We had a subscription to that and someone gave us, so put a bunch of that stuff in here. Uh, here it is. We got a bunch of the Senko worms in here, as well as a mix of, of other worms, plastic worms that we're hopefully gonna try with the uh, with this this combo. And I think we got some other. Oh yeah, these came in the other day as well. So we got a whole bunch of stuff to try. Hopefully, um, we'll be able to try here sooner than later. Um, but while we're doing that, we'll put that playlist together. So stay tuned for that while we get that playlist together. But till then, hope. Um, this kind of picture interest in warm water fishing, specifically some of the bass uh, that'll be out there on their bed soon. No, by the way, do check out that video online scouting that we posted yesterday um, about uh, some things about fishing for spawning white bass. All right, next time we'll catch you all later and good luck and good fishing.